Peter Ducey has more now what's coming out of that room behind him there, uh, where uh, we have at least one guilty count. Peter, what can you tell us? Neil, the jury came and said that they had verdicts on eight of the 18 charges and on count number one, the jury has reached a unanimous decision that Paul Manafort is guilty of filing fake tax returns. I've actually just, I'm getting handed a sheet that has the word guilty on it five times. We got count one, two, three, four, and five dealing with filing fake tax returns in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. And Paul Manafort has been found guilty by the jury on all five of those counts. It sounds like outside the court, uh, there's just one person cheering. I couldn't tell what it was. Um, so five of eight so far are guilty for the Manafort team, and we expect to have the next few charges any minute. We also expect to find out what's going to happen, what the judge wants to do with these 10 charges that the jurors say they could not reach a unanimous decision on during their four days of deliberation. Neil. All right, Peter, thank you very much. And again, just to sort this out, we are talking about Paul Manafort. This is in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, this is a separate look about the 18 counts that were originally facing him on this wave of uh, prosecution against the former campaign manager for Donald Trump. Um, and again, very, very early on in the process, but at least five guilty counts. Separately, the Michael Cohen situation in Manhattan, of course, the president's uh, personal lawyer who has pled guilty to campaign violations, financial fraud, all of which could land him in a slammer for up to five years. Um, so, Robert, you're hearing all of this and more to the Manafort situation. Your thoughts? On the Manafort situation, we have yet to hear about three remaining of the of the eight counts, but it looks like five guilty verdicts. I'm, I'm imagining the other three are likely to be guilty as well. Who knows? But right. we'll find out. And he was found guilty with regard to the tax charges. There, there wasn't much of a defense with regard to that. You know, you file your own tax returns. You know what you filed. You sign them. Um, I suspect that the jury probably did have some trouble with some things related to um, the bank fraud charges. Yeah, these are weighty financial issues. Peter Ducey, and you have a little more, little more complicated. Absolutely. Or Peter Ducey, you have more for us. And on those three outstanding verdicts, Paul Manafort has been found guilty as well. So on the eight charges out of 18 that the Manafort jury said that they could come to unanimous verdicts on, they have found Paul Manafort guilty on all of them. The first five guilty that we got were all relating to filed, uh, falsely filed tax returns. These three had to do with a failure to file a foreign bank account report, bank fraud in getting a $3.5 million loan from Citizens Bank, and bank fraud in getting a $1 million loan from the Bank of California. So we still do not know what the judge wants to do with these 10 charges that the jury could not come to a unanimous verdict on, but they are eight for eight in guilty against Paul Manafort and uh, these three, two of these three that just came in carry a maximum prison sentence of 30 years apiece. The first five carry guilty, uh, carry maximum prison sentences of three years each, so that would be 15. One of them carries five, so that gets to 20, and then two 30-year sentences, so we are up to 80 years maximum in prison if my mental math is correct here, Neil. I trust your mental math. Um, Robert Ray, if that's the case, Paul Manafort is looking and sending the rest of his life behind bars. Well, the, it will be a lot of time because the numbers are so high. I mean, he's not going to get an 80-year sentence either. That's the maximum possible sentence under the statute. Anything could mitigate this, but, this cooperation? Well, it could. I mean, yeah. he certainly could decide. The government could choose to, um, you know, to entertain the value of his cooperation post-verdict. And then you ask the question about what's going to happen as the judge decides now what to do about the remaining 10 counts. My guess is he'll probably ask the jury, you've, you've, you, I've accepted your partial verdict. Do you think that there's any fruitful reason for you to continue to deliberate with regard to the other 10? I suspect the answer to that is likely to be no. And in that event, he will, um, he will declare a mistrial as to those counts and discharge the jury. And that will then leave the decision in the hands back with uh, Bob Mueller to decide whether or not those uh, 10 remaining counts will be um, retried in a separate proceeding. All right, let's go back to Peter Ducey. This is on the Paul Manafort, the choice of the former campaign manager for Donald Trump, uh, who's facing a lot of time behind bars right now. Uh, you, you got more details, Peter? Uh, we now know that there has been a mistrial declared in the 10 
counts against Paul Manafort that the jury said they could not come to a unanimous conclusion about. So out of 18 charges, they came back with eight guilty verdicts, and then the other 10, they were so stuck that the judge has now declared a mistrial. So uh, the information is coming from our team uh, just as quickly as we can possibly get it out. But again, no electronic devices inside the courtroom. And so it is really just a foot race between representatives of all the networks who have people upstairs on the ninth floor and also in an overflow courtroom because of all the interest on the sixth floor here in Alexandria. So as we get some more, we will wait. But again, eight guilty verdicts against Paul Manafort and 10 mistrials on the other 10 counts.